So you can't get your second monitor to work with your Windows 10 PC. I'm rolling with Help Desk Cafe and I'm here to help you fix it. The very first thing that we're gonna do is check our physical cables. So you're gonna wanna check your display cable. Now, if you're using a VGA cable, like I am in the monitor right in front of me, it's gonna have two fasteners and you're gonna wanna make sure that not only is the end securely connected all the way in, but also make sure that those fasteners are tightened as much as possible. Also make sure to check the end that connects directly to your computer. Now the process is exactly the same if you're using an HDMI cable like this. Just rather than these fasteners, make sure that this end is securely connected all the way into the port on your monitor and your computer. So now that we know that both of the ends of our display cables are connected correctly to both our monitor and our computer, we're gonna head into Windows Display Settings to either extend or duplicate our display. Okay, so here we are on our Windows 10 desktop. The first thing we're gonna do is head over to our settings or control panel as it used to be called. And you do that by heading over to your start menu on the bottom left, clicking on this settings icon right above power. And once this screen shows up for you, I want you to head over to system, which is gonna be the first item on your top left. And if you, if you can tell, it says right under it, display, sound, notifications, and power. So we're gonna click that. And as you can see, it shows, up, it shows how many displays are currently connected to your computer. So if there's any issue with your cable or your connection, you would only see one display here. And as you can tell, I have two displays connected. So the next step, um, in order to see if we can fix this issue with Windows not detecting your second display, what you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll down all the way to multiple displays right here. It's directly above Sleep Better and Scale and Layout. So what we're gonna do, as you can tell right here on multiple displays item, it, it says show only on one. So what that means is it's only gonna show windows on your first display, whichever one you have selected. So what we want is we want to show our display on both of our monitors. So you have two options here. You can either extend these displays or duplicate. So with extend these displays, it's basically gonna make one large screen real estate for you. Uh, if you choose duplicate, what it's gonna do is show the exact same screen on both monitors. So choose whichever one uh, you'd like. I'd probably suggest extend these displays. It's the most common option chosen. So make sure to choose extend these displays and then that should fix your issue for your second monitor not being detected by Windows 10. I hope that solved this issue for you, but if it didn't, I will see you on step three of our troubleshooting guide. Okay, that should have done the trick, but if you still can't see your display, let's walk through a few additional troubleshooting steps. First, I want you to make sure that the brightness on your monitor is turned up all the way. So you can do this uh, via a button either on the bottom or on the side, maybe even the top of your monitor. On this one, it's right here on the bottom. Make sure to read the manual for your specific monitor, which will let you know how exactly to do this. You can also head over to Google and type in HP, for example. This is the manufacturer of this specific monitor. So-and-so monitor, and then type manual and then click enter and you should be able to find what you're looking for in the first few uh, results. Also, don't only double check the brightness on your monitor, but also check the brightness level on your computer itself. Okay, secondly, what I want you to do is disconnect and reconnect your display cables. So make sure to take both ends of the display cable all the way out. So if you're using a VGA cable like this, untighten your fasteners, 
on both ends and make sure to take it all the way out like so and then do the same on the other end of your cable and once you have that done make sure to reconnect them going through the same process as we did before and again make sure the fasteners are all the way in and once you've done so check to see whether you can see your display now and if you're using an HDMI cable, do the same exact thing. Don't skip this step. So the third thing that I want you to do is to switch your cable type. For example, in this monitor, I have a VGA cable connected. But what you can do is swap out this VGA cable for an HDMI cable. Uh, like my monitor supports, it has one slot for HDMI and one slot for VGA. So this will only work if your specific monitor has multiple options of cables that you can connect. You can also try it the other way around. If originally you were using an HDMI cable, you can swap that out for a VGA cable and that might solve the issue. So the last step in this tutorial, if Windows 10 still won't detect your second display, I want you to take it back to where you purchased it and try to get a replacement because your display might be damaged. That's it for this video. Make sure to head over to helpdeskcafe.com for more DIY tech support walkthroughs.